Oh, you know me, just copying my data over to my favorite Google Sheet every single day. Please do yourself a favor, stop doing that. I know I'm voicing over right now, but please, we have tools for this. So to start off, what we'll do is go to mixedanalytics.com, and here we will be able to get a copy of API Connector for our sheets. It looks like I already have a copy of API Connector, so once you have it installed, you'll be able to access it by clicking on Extensions, and then you'll be able to open Mixed Analytics API Connector here. It should pop up over here on the side. This side. So we've got all this data over inside of our Shopify. We've got several of these different orders that have been placed. So in order to get this data into the API connector, what we'll need to do first is create an API key. In order to do that, you'll want to start by going here to apps, app and sales channel settings. Once we've opened this up, we'll want to create our own app, app, app to be able to connect that data from Shopify to Google Sheets. So go ahead and click on develop apps and then we'll create an app. And you can just call this something like you know, Shopify two sheets or something, whatever is okay for you. Um, then we'll go ahead and create that app. And then for the next step, what we'll do is configure our admin API scopes. This basically tells us what information we can access in terms of either read or write. I would suggest just choosing read on the things that you need. So for today's example, we're just going to be pulling orders in. So we'll be able to read those orders. So we'll go ahead and save that. So from here, we'll want to go ahead and install that app. So yes, of course you made it safe. Um, at API credentials, you'll want to grab this token. So um, be sure you're only going to reveal it once, so make sure you store it somewhere safe. I'll go ahead and grab a copy of that now, and then I'll head back over to my Shopify demo. I'll head over to my sheets that I want to pull Shopify data into. So yeah, we'll go ahead and open up the extension here. I'll call it simple report, for example. So I'll go ahead and run a request to show you the process. So what we'll do is go up here to application. We'll type in Shopify. We'll go ahead and paste in the authorization key that we got from over at our dashboard. And then for the endpoints, let's just get a simple report. What we'll do is pull in all of the orders that are available um, for that particular shop. So I've got my OJ stand over here. And so I'll go ahead, punch that in here, set that current destination sheet, and then call it a simple report. And then just kick back and relax. So go and run it. There you go, so there's all the orders for my different uh, products along with their prices, no problem. So another thing that you can check out is over here in Endpoint, there's also different types of orders that you can get. Basically the main difference between these two is that this one has specific fields chosen for you. This will return a lot more data, which you may or may not need. There's also retrieve a list of customers, so if you wanna see basically all customers that have interacted with your store, you can go here. Along with a list of all products, this includes everything that is open, not open, closed, sold out bought out, okay, all that stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and just test out this retrieve list of orders. Maybe you wanna get slightly different data depending on your use case. So what we'll go ahead and do is type in the uh, domain for our shop name. So I got my OJ stand uh, field. Let's just say, for example, I want to get the contact email, financial status, and I wanna get source URL here, some marketing stuff, right? I just wanna get all this marketing data in one place. So I'll punch that in and then maybe status, we'll say any, and then let's just see what happens. So save, run. I'm not so sure why I wasn't impressed here. So fields are gonna be pretty important uh, because of limitations set by Google on services like ours. We can only run a function for about six minutes before we are timed out. So do just pull the data that you need. This also makes it run faster for you, so it's a better experience as well. If you're more of a reader, you can head over to mixedanalytics.com, check out our knowledge base, and then head down over to our step-by-step -step API guides. You'll be able to read up more here on how Shopify API fits within the context of API Connector. If you're really wanting to geek out, check out Shopify's actual API documentation. And as you'll see over the documentation, there's all kinds of resources, but you'll want to mainly focus here on admin API. So head over to REST reference, and from here you'll be able to find stuff like your customer's data, um, inventory, orders, products, and most of the things you're interested in. Awesome, y'all. Thanks for watching. So if you did find that video useful, please stay tuned on this channel to learn more about what mixed analytics can do for you and pulling your data from various sources across the internet into Google Sheets. Thanks. Have a good one.